All right, track wrestling here in Minneapolis with Jared Lawrence at the Pinnacle School of Wrestling. Just want to kind of give an idea of, of the history of this club, first of all. I mean, you guys, uh, walls in there are filled with national champions and world team members. I think uh, maybe it's up to close to 10 at this point. Um, take me back to the beginning. Where, where did it start? When did it start? How did it start? Um, well... Back in the beginning, uh, Pinnacle was a, essentially a way for a few of us to um, to make money as we were training. So um, in 2005, I started Pinnacle Wrestling, and um, we started off very small. It was a preseason deal with some Sunday-only uh, kids throughout the year, so it wasn't much. It was I was still training for the Olympics in 2008, so it was just a way to make some extra money. It was like myself, Luke Becker, um, Matt Nagel. Um, you know, a couple other people were just kind of helping out at the time. And then uh, when I got done training in 2008, I said, I, I think we can make this thing work. And um, Brandon Paulson had been helping me train a little bit. And um, he was watching film with me, giving me some pointers. And I really, I really started um, attracting, you know, to him in, in that, in the wrestling sense. And so when, uh, when I got done with 2008, um, I called him up and he was like, yeah, okay, let's do it. And, uh, and we really haven't looked back since. And that's when we, you know, the, the, from 2005 to 2008, we were just like, you know, renting other spaces. I was using high schools, using colleges, just, you know, just kind of renting rooms. So when we partnered up, I mean, we, we got our own place here. We wanted a, a place where the wrestlers felt like they belong instead of like a place that wasn't theirs or a school that was somebody else's school. We wanted a place where people actually come here and say, "This is this is our gym. This is where we this is where we train." You know, and we're just um, we're both just real passionate about wrestling. That's all we want to do. We just want to coach wrestling and have kids get better and do their thing. How many kids was it in the beginning, and and how many is it now? Um, like when we started off, there was uh, I mean like 30 high school kids. Um, like year one, and maybe like 30 uh, youth kids coming like year round Sundays only, like year one. So we were like at 60, and now we're about 400. You know, we, we just got we have four different levels of youth that we go through. Um, we have a bunch of different options for high school guys where they can do a preseason, they can do preseason Sunday only if they got sports, they got full year packages, we got you know. Um, spring packages, you know, postseason type stuff. It's all freestyle and Greco. I and mean, we even got a, a, a little group we call the Caveman and Tough Guy group. It's like three, four, and five, and six-year-olds, where it's basically just gymnastics and stuff like that. But we, we start them young and, and go all the way through. Yeah, it's awesome. So this year you got uh, Cadet World Champ, Daniel Kirkvliet. Uh, yeah. You have uh, Mitch McKee, Junior World Silver Medalist, Emily Shilson. Junior yeah. World Silver Medalist. Yeah. A lot of cool things going on. We had, a, we had an awesome summer in the, in the world aspect, yes, absolutely. How about the high school year? I know you guys won a state, ton of state titles. How many, what was the count? Oh my gosh, um, it's probably on our website. I probably should know this stuff off my head, but I, I think it was like maybe 18 state champions and like, you know, like 56 state placers, you know, something like that. We had like a, um, maybe like 106 state qualifiers. Wow. You know, something like that. You know, the, those kind of odds. I, I'm not exact on that, but um, yeah, I'm pretty close. Could you have imagined in the beginning it, it grow into this no, level? No, probably not. No, that's, um, and I, I really do think Brandon Paulson's a, a big part of it. He's just, his, his brain can work with the, the numbers and classes and he can see that stuff uh, a lot better than me I don't I don't think it could get where it's at you know I mean but we're we're a we're a they, they call us the ham and egg special because I mean he's like the short strong guy I'm like the long wanky guy so I mean we, we're like combined to like the the ultimate being we call it but it's, it's just fun we have a good time you know we were talking uh, in the room during practice a little bit and, and uh, you know you and Jody Sturmatter go back to being on, you know, Iowa, Iowa Minnesota rivalry back when it was super hot. We actually wrestled at Junior Nationals, 114 and a half pounds. Really? Yeah, it was for third and fourth place. And I think you got into the club scene about the same time. And yeah. now, um, you know, if people were to name the the top couple clubs in the country, I think Pinnacle and Young Guns are are in that conversation. Uh, what has it been like to grow to this level and and get that national? 
uh, reputation that you, you you've developed. I, it's awesome. I think it's awesome. You know, for us, I mean, that's what we want to do. We want to. I mean, we're all, you know, as coaches, we're competitive people. So, like, if people say like, "What's your goal?" We're like, "Well, we want to be the best club in the world. That's our goal." And um, you know, I think it probably is probably the same for Jody at the same time. But um, yeah, we just want to um, kids that want to get better. We want to help them get better. That's as simple as it gets. We want to be able to. Kids that want to be the best, we want to help you try to reach that goal. And that's that's the bottom line for us. And certainly a, a banner summer for USA Wrestling in terms of uh, uh, what transpired on the freestyle scene. And, and I think maybe clubs are, are playing a part in that. What, what do you see that, you know, the developmental system, how, how you guys fit into that? You know, I think right now we just, you know, we I mean... We have a lot of great kids that are working out with each other, and they just they're they just feed off each other. I mean, half the time we're just we're just we're putting them in positions, and they've they've figured out how to uh, play wrestle and, and do stuff. And um, you know, like we started off tonight, it was like 30 minutes of just you know guys just just play wrestling, getting in different positions and playing, and they'll they'll teach each other stuff through the process. Somebody will have something. Um, maybe that he does. I mean, they just they, they feed off it. They they love wrestling. Whatever whatever has happened, our athletes seem like they love wrestling. So when you do that, you you tend to just learn more and, and sponge things up more. And you know, they just they figure things out on their own. They ask for help and they figure things out. But I think that's kind of where it's at. It, it will cross the country. You just have a bunch of these kids that are um, and just love wrestling and love getting better. And they get around other kids that feel the same way, and the outcome is awesome. How much do you guys take from you know guys that are running other clubs, and, and how much do you learn from them, and how much do do people pick your brain? I think whatever we can. I yeah. think it's one of those things where we have a, a mutual. We're still competitive, right? Like we still want to be. I want to be better than, than you at your club, but at the same time, um, we have the respect for each other because we know what we've all went through, and so we um, we give um, whatever knowledge we have to each other. And if I went and asked Jody Strittmatter a bunch of questions, he would give me straight answers. If he had questions that we wanted, that, um, we would give him the straight answers to it. It's just, that's just that's where the respect for it comes in. I know you're you're not in every room in the country, but uh, what do you what do you think makes you guys unique here? Um, I you know what the biggest thing that we hear from from other people is that their kids love coming to Pinnacle. That's the and that's our one of our greatest compliments. They're like, man, I don't know what you guys do in there, but they just love going to practice. If I had to tell my kid that he had to quit coming to Pinnacle, he would cry and lock himself in his room and wouldn't come out. And so that for us, that I means so that's that's it. The technique, the live wrestling, the toughness, the strength, that'll all come. You have to start with enjoying what you do. What do you do to make it enjoyable for them? You, you know, know I, I don't know. I, we, we constantly make fun of each other, too. You know, we got music that always is playing. We throw movie lines out that the kids don't get, but Paulson and I and all the other coaches are laughing at it and giggling, and I'm making fun of him for being old. He makes fun of me for being skinny, you know, to where the kids are, I think they're smiling in practice. They're just, they're constantly, like, smiling, and I just, I don't know what it is. It's just atmosphere, I think. Got anything else for us? I'm good.